welcome back to Shine Like a Diamond. I am Shine, and today we have a unboxing. Um, so I got this, I believe, on oh goodness, Friday, I think it was. And no idea what it was because I was like, I haven't ordered a diamond painting for a long time, um, unless it's come from Diamond Art Club. So I was like. Hmm. So I opened just the site here to kind of try to figure out what it was. Sorry, hit my camera. Didn't mean to do that. And I remembered. Uh, get this piece off there. All the way. That I had something coming from Mary's Diamonds. So um, the box definitely got smushed. It was delivered by FedEx. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not in the best shape. It, I don't know what it went through to get here, but, um, I had another box that, um, was even in worse shape than this lately. So who knows? But anyways, um, Mary's Diamonds contacted me a while back asking if I would be interested in showing one of their canvases. They were having some new artists and I said, of course, I would love to. Um, they sent me a like a list of the pictures from the new artists that were going to be coming out. And I chose one. So, honestly though, with everything gone on lately, like I cannot remember which one I chose. I just remember I really, I really, really liked it. So, um, in the box, you're going to get a kit. Looks like this. You're gonna get a little tray. Um, I like this tray. It is not like the huge one, but big enough. And I like the, the sides of the tray because they're nice and tall. Um, then you got your basic wax. You've got a pen, a four placer, and what looks to be probably a nine placer, and um, what looks to be a bug that has crawled in to my little toolkit trying to diamond paint. Um, you also get these. Oh my gosh. I, I gotta take these out. Ooh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. It's like so gorgeous. It's sparkly gold tweezers. I don't have any like this. Um, so this is cool. And it's the same. Like, they're really sturdy. They're really nice. Like the black ones. But they're gold. Um, I do apologize for the lighting. It's in the evening, and I was like, I gotta get this done so I can get it up tomorrow, and uh, we don't have the best lighting in the house at the moment. So I do apologize for that. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the box. I don't keep the boxes anymore anyways, um, just because I had too many, and they were like everywhere in my home, so um the way i store them is quite different so i'm going to have to make a video about that because i've had numerous people ask me um how i store them when they saw the picture of me throwing away all of my um, boxes that literally filled up uh, my trunk and my back seat um with diamond art club boxes and a couple other companies so um i will do a video of that and show you guys Okay, this is so cute. See, and for me, like, the little touches, they do add stuff, you know? It's just, like, it, it makes you feel like they took the time, you know, to do it. And it says, so it's a, a ribbon, obviously. And it actually says on it, Mary's Diamonds. Oh, that is so cool. That is really, really unique. I have not seen anybody have a ribbon with the logo on it. That is cool. Um, I definitely, definitely give props for that and for the gold tweezers. Um, I love those as well. Okay, so the drills are going to be inside of the, of the canvas. Uh, uh. Okay, all right, so they have them in bags, so look at all of those. Look how nicely they're put together, um, and all of them, and they're marked, so if I, ha if I wanted to, 
Um, if I was a bag person, like there are a lot of people who like to work out of bags. I'm not really one of those people, but um, if I did want to try, like this would be the perfect kit to do it with because, yeah, they're all ready to go. You don't have to kit it up at all. Like it's kit up for you. Um, but man, look at some of these gorgeous colors. Like I am loving the colors. Beautiful. I will probably take um, one out to look at the drills to see because I did ask for a square piece this time. Um, so yeah. Okay. So the back of the canvas is kind of like felty almost feel. It's it's softer than a lot of canvases. Yeah. For to me, it feels like felt. Um, I don't think that's what it is. It just kind of feels that way. You know what I mean? So, okay. So I'm going to try to roll it backwards once and see if we can get a little bit more of the wrinkly wrinkles out. I don't know if it's pour glue or, um, mounted glue. So let's just take a look at the canvas and then I should be able to figure it out. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? One two three oh look at her i'm gonna turn the light out in a second i know it's gonna get darker but that way you won't have the glare at all when you see it so let's just take a peek peek at what this does turning this light down oh she is gorgeous you can actually see pretty well um without that light on so okay um, there's just a little bit of a shadow because the kitchen light is on, but gosh, she is so pretty. I do remember this one now. Like, I, I absolutely remember it. I, um, I saw it and I was like, that, it was just, it really stood out um, for me. Let me see if I can get you the thumbnail. If not, I'll insert that picture of the thumbnail. Um, here we go. Let's see. Let's see, here we are, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, I love it with the umbrella. She's got kind of like hand out, feeling the rain coming down the side as I hit my, my folk, or my tripod, sorry. Okay, um, so I like how it says their name on the top, Mary's Diamond, um, and this is poured glue. Um, I would bet my life that it is. You can usually tell on the edges, if it's mounted glue, it usually comes over the side quite a bit, um, like about a quarter of an inch or so. With the poured glue, it barely goes over, if at all. So it is definitely poured glue. Um, these symbols are like super, super clear. I will get the camera and kind of bring it down and show you these, these uh, symbols here. We're going to pull this back, and it definitely sticky, <laughs> like very, very sticky. Look at these. <gasps> There's like little butterflies going up the side. I'm going to try to find that picture and insert it because I know that um, it's a little harder to see. The lighting's not the best. I got a little bit of a shadow going on, so I do apologize for that over here. Um, where it's kind of rolling up, you're not really missing anything. It's just basically a solid color. Um, and I'm guessing black because it's just like all of this area mainly is black. When you get into this area, there's some different coloring going on and some confetti going on, but not, not too bad. Um, yeah, this one is just going to be, this one's going to go, I think pretty quickly, especially because of all that black over there. It is... Let's see, I can't remember the size. It is a 60 by 60, so perfect square. I love, like, 50 by 60 is, like, my favorite size because I feel like you still get that detail, but it's not, like, so massive that you ha you can't even do it on, like, your normal desk, and it takes you forever and a year to do. Like, so 60 by 60, I think, is the perfect size. I love her beautiful green eye. She's obviously closing this one. Um, I'll probably have to add some A, Bs or, or something fun for that. Um, there are 41 different colors in this one. 
and I will try, like I usually do, to show you these symbols here. This is my first one from Mary's Diamond, so I'm not sure, like, they're typical symbols, so. Um, so there's the symbols going down. Like I said, there are 41 different um, colors in this. So pretty standard. Like, I don't see anything so weird that, that it would be a problem. Um, or something that's really close together in color, you know. And then it's like an O and a D. And they're both red or something. Like, I don't see any of that. So I don't think there will be any problem um, with that. But... Oh, I'm really excited to do this. Um, there's no ABs in this one, but I will add my own ABs or whatever I choose to get um, from um, Diamond Painting with Sparklers. So I will definitely, whatever I choose to get from Diamond Painting with Sparklers, um, and she even has some square crystals now. Mmm. Okay, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with this one, but I have an I, I have some ideas, um, especially like with the umbrella and maybe her hair and stuff. I think that this one is going to turn out absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna pick the camera up and like bring it close so that you can see um all of the symbols and you can kind of see how they're they're very very clear and it's going to be easy to read so as you can see we're we're nice up and close um and you can see all of these symbols are very easy to read um and you can see the the lines for the squares which is nice sometimes um i don't know if this is black or blue the e I'm gonna go and take a look. Let's look. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, we're gonna go over here and find that symbol and figure out which one it is. Did I pass it? I think I did, hold on. Okay, so there's two different colors that, that are very close, which is why I passed it. So we need an M, we're looking for the M, y'all. Um. M310, which is kind of what I was thinking, was that we were going to have a lot of black. Um, and then there's also an A. So the A is right here. And it is a 939. So you definitely going to be living that 310 life <laughs> and that 939 because that's basically all of this. All of this dark color over here, that's all it is. And when you get over to this area... You get some sprinkles in there um, of some color and stuff like that. But definitely, definitely going to be using my uh, multi-placer with this kit. Um, and then, and then uh, oh my gosh, I love that. That green just pops. Like red hair with green eyes, gorgeous. And then these butterflies, like I didn't even notice them at first. How cute would those be? With like some like rhinestones for the butterflies or some ABs to really just make those butterflies just pop out. Um, but yeah, I am loving this. Hopefully I'll be able to work on it like fairly soon and I can kind of show you what it is and give you a good review of like after I've worked on it. Now, before I've worked on it, I would definitely, definitely recommend them. Um, it's poured blue, beautiful. They have a ton of canvases to choose from. Uh, reasonably priced. Um, I'm not sure how much this one would have been. I'll have to go and check uh, because they sent it to me. So I'll have to check and see how much this would actually cost. Um, but I do remember seeing some prices on their um, website and, and thinking, yeah, that's, a, you know, pretty good prices, especially for poured glue. The back of the canvas, like I said, feels very like felt, like a stiff felt. I don't know what material that is, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to pull out some of these drills. We're just going to look at a few of them because, well, we've got to look at some drills, right? We've got to. Okay, so we're going to leave the lights kind of off right now because it seems like you can see well enough anyway. So, um, Okay, there are 41 colors in here. Yikes. I want to know how much, like, I want to see the 310s. 
and the 939s because I feel like there's going to be a good amount of those. Okay. <laughs> they have it all nice and perfect and I just dump it out everywhere. Kaplu, there it is. Okay, so we've got, um, well, I guess I have to see what numbers they are. Um, okay, so we've got number three and number 28. Those are the two colors that um, I'm looking for. I think it's going to be here. Yes. Okay, so here's 28. So these are the 939s. Look, there's like a really pretty diamond. I know it's kind of hard to see, um, but they have like a diamond right here. It's cute. Okay, so then that's 20. I have no idea why, but my camera decided I'm not going to record anymore, and it just stopped. Um, anyways, look how tiny these words are. Yeah, if they want anybody to be able to read that, like they're going to have to make that a little bit bigger because I cannot read that. I think it says handcraft wonderful life that's what i believe it says but i love the diamond on it anyway so there's a nice pink and we've got some orange going on Ooh, and look how bright now these have got to be for her eyes look how bright those are gorgeous gorgeous oh i love them i love the green and then here's another one, which again is probably going to be up in her eye area because I really don't see any other green around. Um, but you never know. Sometimes you don't think they're going to be there and then, then they are. So, um, and we've got this color. I'm just going to like kind of go through them really quickly for you so that you can see what they look like. We've got another really pretty green. All right, come on. Let's come apart for me, please. Thank you. Then we've got a blue. And another green. Holy cow. Okay, there's got to be some green in there that I am not seeing because that's a lot. Of, that would be way too many greens for just her eye. So we got purple and like a fuchsia and like a brick brown kind of. And then we got another purple and a pink. And more black. See, I knew there was going to be more. I knew it. There had to be. There's just no, no way. Gorgeous color. Beautiful color. This one, I love too. Like, I really want this one for my nails. Like, that orange. It's like a pinky orange. I love that. We've got red, which is probably, uh, I'd say 321, I'm guessing. We've got some browns here I'll just pick those all of those up and kind of show you all at once it's definitely harder to like show the colors when they're not all in a in a train do you know what i'm saying so we've got all of these and then we've got another like beige and brown oh god sakes and they're they wanting to stick together too so we have like some beige and some like orangey brown and some red and again look at that color like I just I don't know what it is about this color I love it I absolutely love it and we've got more purples Ooh, that's pretty that's really pretty look at all those colors Ooh, I love it I love it all the purples um, let's see. I know the, the lighting is so bad, you guys. I do apologize. More 310s. More. Then we've got another really pretty purple. Then we've got another, like, brick red, but a little bit pinker than, like, most brick reds, I would say. Then we've got a really pretty, like, maroon purple. Burgundy, kind of, almost. And we've got lots of pink. Lots and lots of pink. Which I knew there would be a lot of pink and red because, hello. Whoa! <laughs> I just knocked my camera almost all the way over, you guys. Holy cow. You would think I hadn't filmed in like a year. It's only been a week and a half. Like, hello. My brain is just out to, to dessert because it's nighttime already. <laughs> Oh, here's a really like deep, deep burgundy brown almost. It's kind of hard to see like, but yeah. 
Then we've got like some kind of army green is what I would say. I already showed you those greens and the purples. I love this color. This color is in so many of the kits, but I love it all the time anyways. Um, it's like a $7.97, I believe. I'm gonna look, but I'm just curious to see how well I remember. Let's see. Yep, $7.97. Okay, then we've got more 939s, which again, I knew there would be more of those. I already showed you the green eh, and beige. Ugh. So there's a lot of colors here. Um, and if you, like I said, you guys, if you are a person that likes to work out of bags, like this company would be perfect. You get your poured woo, you get a nice kit, and you get your bags already kitted up and ready to go. Um, they all look really nice. Um, as I was kind of looking at the different colors, I was I was looking at the drills and they're just, they look really, really nice. Like I wish my lighting was better so that you could see it a little bit better, but they're just really beautiful drills and they look very, very much um, uniform. And again, like, it's, it's the little things, the extra little touches, like the gold rather than just plain black and having the, you know, the little ribbon with her name on it and everything. Like, I don't know. I just, I am a sucker for all the extra little things that they do um, that just kind of adds, adds to it. So, but that is all I have for you guys today. I do apologize. It's kind of like all over the place as I hit my camera again. Um, I'm still like recovering from being out of the hospital and all that junk junk. So, um, but I hope that you had a wonderful day today. I hope you continue to have a wonderful day and don't forget as always, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are definitely, definitely loved more than you know. With that, keep on shining and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, okay, so I wanted to give you a couple um, quick updates that I got a message out after I had already recorded it from them. Um, but as of July 21st, there will be a new line of diamond paintings that will be a little bit more on the um, cost effective side, if you know what I'm saying. A um, little bit a little more inexpensive and um, they'll still be licensed it'll just be licensed with like the website uh, shutterstock.com so stuff like that um, they will have 10 new artists as of October August sorry as of August 1st and as of July 21st they will also be shipping to 10 new countries I don't know which ones. I just know there will be 10 new countries that they will be sending um, their paintings out to as of July 21st. So if that is you, then definitely go um, check them out. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I put up a new video.